and drop. Fucking up, fucking the hot bar. Fucking on your bitch, she is hot, hot, hot. Fucking up, open the cup, pot. What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how I edited this Instagram reel and a few of the editing techniques I used. So starting off with this first intro video clip, you see these a lot through Instagram and through some of the trending reels. So I decided that I wanted to use this one. So I just screen recorded it using QuickTime from Instagram on my computer and then dragged it into the timeline. And then moving on to this second shot, I'd call this like a speed ramp boomerang effect where the video plays and then rewinds. So here is my raw video clip. And the first thing that I'm going to do is actually add a speed ramp to speed up the beginning portion. So I'm going to go to the end of the video clip, hold down shift and press B. That's going to create a speed ramp. And then I'm just going to click and hold the tab and just drag this right to the start so that it speeds up the start of the video. So now we have just this fast to slow motion. So the next step is to change this into a compound clip by holding down Option, pressing G, click OK. And then I'm going to hold down Option, click and drag just to copy and paste this video clip. And then on the second video clip, I'm going to select it, go to the speed wheel here and just click reverse video clip. So now if I play this back, we have this boomerang effect, kind of like you'd see on Instagram. And that's kind of like the first effect I used. Okay, so for the next video clip, on this one, I added multiple speed ramps. So I'm just going to move along the timeline and where I want the video clip to slow down, I will add a speed ramp. So here, hold down shift, press B. Where I want to speed it up again, I'll add another speed ramp. So hold down shift and press B. And then I want it to speed up to around here. Hold down shift and press B. Speed up again around here. Hold down shift, press B. So now I've added the speed ramps. What I'm going to do is just use these tabs to speed up the parts that I want to speed up. And now the next step to make those speed ramps nice and smooth, what I'm going to do is just drag these tabs so that they connect in the middle. So now it creates this kind of speed up, slow down effect. And if you want to move the speed ramps, all you need to do is just double click, click the edit button, and then you can just move these to change where the speed change happens on the video clip. So once I've edited the speed ramps on the video clips, what I then did was added some transitions in between just to add some more effects to the edit. So what I'm going to do is select one side of the video clip in between these two here, go over to the transitions tab over on the right here, I use quite a lot of these eight millimeter transitions. A lot of these transitions you won't find in Final Cut Pro. I'll leave the link to this one down below and there's lots of other ones on my website that you can check out. So I'm just going to double click on one of these transitions and that's going to add it into the timeline. And then I'm just going to change the speed of it. And yet the transitions just add a bit more effects in between each cut. So once I've finished adding the speed ramps and transitions, then I'll add some motion blur to smooth out some of the speed ramps. So what I'm going to do is go up here to my titles, go down to motion blur, and this plugin doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a free download. I'm just going to drag on moderate motion blur, and you'll see if I turn this on and off, you can see it adds like this nice motion blur effect, which smooths everything out and gives it a really cool look. I'm not gonna add in more video clips because I just used the same techniques that I did here on the rest of them. Now I'm gonna go through how I export it in vertical format for Instagram Reels. What I'm going to do is just press Command J on the keyboard and this will open up the project settings up here on the right hand side. And then I'm gonna click Modify and I'm going to click video and I'm going to go down to vertical, change the resolution to 2160 by 3840, click OK. So now my video looks like this, but there's a really cool feature that will automatically change your video clips so that they fit the vertical project. So what I'm going to do is select all of my video clips, go up here to modify and click smart conform. And this will automatically scale up my video clips 
so that they fit nicely into the vertical format. So now my video clips are scaled up so that they fit nicely into the vertical project. What I like to do is go through and just change the position on the X axis just to make sure the composition on each video clip is nice so that the subject is where you want it on the screen. You wouldn't get that problem when you should shoot vertical video, but because I do YouTube mainly, I always have to shoot in widescreen. So now my video is ready to render. I will just select the range on the timeline, go up to the export button, and I'll use the mastering video and audio setting and the H.264 video codec. Make sure the resolution is, is in 4K, and then I'll just export it like this and then it's ready to upload to Instagram Reels. And this one actually turned out in really good quality. You can go check it out on my Instagram if you want. So those export settings worked nicely. For the color grading, the base LUT that I was using was the A12 LUT from my Explorer LUT Pack 3. You can check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Fucking up in the hot bar Fucking on your bitch, she attack, attack, attack